quarterback start of the week starts early on Patrick Mahomes. I know this is a pretty boring and vanilla pick. It feels like if you pick Patrick Mahomes pretty early, you're going to start him uh, every week. But looking at the defense of the Detroit Lions, you know, C.J. Gardner-Johnson uh, is dealing uh, with an injury. You know, they did get better. This defense did get better. They have Aiden Hutchinson uh, in the in the middle. They have uh, really formidable linebackers. But if you look at last year's uh, defense, we have to pull up some stats of last year since we have no game action this year. The Lions' uh, defense uh, gave up the most uh, fantasy points uh, to the opposing quarterbacks. And looking at this Chiefs offense, you know, they're we're, we're really going to be formidable once again. Really, who's going to step up as their wide receiver? One is going to be Kadarius Toney. is going to be Sky Moore. We know that Travis Kelsey – is going to be there. He's going to be a mismatch against that Lions defense. 24 and a half points is the projected total. Would not surprise me at all. Usually Patrick Mahomes lights it up in the season openers. Uh, last year, uh, he really did as well. So I think at home against Arrowhead, against a defense that definitely has gotten better, but still has some question marks. I think that Patrick Mahomes is one of the top quarterback starts of the week. Let's go on now to the running back start of the week. Let's go on now to the AFC South, and that is Travis Etienne, the running back for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And usually we want to go, you know, against, you know, the Houston Texans. They're one of the defenses that we like to go up against. But the Indianapolis Colts is the defense uh, that we're going after. And there's a lot of question marks about this Colts team. You know, all the question marks have been on the offensive side of the ball. Their defense, don't get me wrong, they definitely have some talent on three levels of this defense, uh, but the Jacksonville Jaguars offense got better in this offseason. They added Calvin Ridley. Travis Etienne, uh, you look behind him, they do have Tank Bigsby behind him, uh, but I just think that Travis Etienne early on in this season will be their three down back, and you'll start to see an evolution of, of Tank Bigsby. Steals some carries for him, but I just don't think it's going to come in week number one. Projected total points uh, this week uh, in the PPR leagues uh, is 14. Would not shock me at all if Etienne uh, finds uh, the end zone. Uh, would not su surprise me at all. Travis Etienne, one of his biggest red flags last year uh, was not uh, scoring a lot of touchdowns whenever the Jaguars got into the red zone. Uh, whenever they got into the red zone, is more Trevor Lawrence uh, finding one of his top raw receivers uh, in Christian Kirk. Uh, maybe this year is going to be Calvin Ridley. But not surprise me if Travis Etienne gets more involved in the passing game. We saw his connection ever since, you know, from Clemson last year. He showed it too. Uh, so I think that he's going to have his fair share against, you know, an Indianapolis Colts uh, defense. Isn't one of the best defenses. Uh, so I think that Travis Etienne is going to have a big game against the Indianapolis Colts. Let's go on now to the wide receiver star of the week. Let's go back to that Thursday night game between the Chiefs and the Lions. I just feel like this is going to be an offensive slugfest between these two teams. Uh, I just feel like there's some concerns uh, in the secondary, looking at the Chiefs' secondary. They were able to hold up uh, last year's run uh, whenever the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. But I'm in Ross St. Brown. I, I just keep talking about him. He's one of my favorite guys uh, in this fantasy season. I just feel like he's going to break out. And it's going to start in week number one. No Jamison Williams. There's really no other – Anybody formal that's going to be targeting him, you know, maybe the rookie Sam Laporta gets involved early on, but Jared Goff is going to have to throw it to somebody. If the Lions want to keep this close, I feel like Amon Ra is going to have a really good game. 0 0.4 receiving touchdowns. I'm going to take the easy over in that. I think that he gets either one or two touchdowns. Uh, 17.3 uh, projected total points in week number one would not shock me at all if he had sat over two. It uh, feels like somebody's got to get the ball for this Lions offense if they want to come out of Arrowhead with an upset victory. So I think that Amon Ra is going to have a big week one, and he's going to continue that as the Lions go on. So let's go on now to the sits of the week. So let's get on to a more negative side. And, guys, you, you should just stash on your bench and keep – going on for the next week. Let's go on to the QB sit of the week, and that is Daniel Jones going up against one of the best defenses in the NFL, the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys was one of the top two defenses in fantasy terms last season. Daniel Jones in both meetings last year struggled against the same Cowboys defense. This continues uh, to be really good in all three levels of their defense. Their secondary has a lot of talent. Uh, so, I just don't think, you know, I think that Saquon Barkley is going to get most of the, the load here in week number one. Uh, I just think that Daniel Jones, looking at his receivers, 
Jalen Hyde, I think that he's going to be the wide receiver one. But outside of, outside of that, there isn't really much. So I think that the lack of weapons is going to hurt uh, Daniel Jones here in week number one. It's a fresh season. Uh, so I think that da Daniel Jones uh, definitely is a quarterback that I like, especially with his dual threat capabilities. But I just don't like him against a very tough matchup against the Cowboys defense uh, that doesn't really give up many touchdowns throughout the season. Let's go on to the running back sit of the week. And this going to the AFC, the Monday night game between James Cook. I just don't really like any of the running backs. Uh, you know, Dalvin Cook, James Cook. Uh, I'm expecting Dalvin Cook to Are they be. Are brothers? Yeah, they are brothers. Okay, so, that's what I thought. I, I think that James Cook, uh, the Bills' offense uh, really struggled to run the ball against the Jets. So I feel like this is a feels more like a Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs type of game. If the Bills are going to come away with a victory, they can't really rely too heavily on the running game. I really like James Cook this season, but it's a Jets defense that just keeps reloading. And I think that they're more vulnerable in the secondary, so Josh Allen – and that Bills offense is going to go more into the passing game. So I think that James Cook, it's going to be a very minimal outing. I think that he has like 30 plus rushing yards, but I just don't think it's a game uh, where he scores a touchdown. So I think that James Cook uh, against the Jets defense, that is one of the top rushing defenses. I just think that this is not the matchup to one, especially if you're looking for a lot of points in week number one uh, to get off to that important one and no start. To the season, let's go on to the wide receiver sit of the week. Marquise Brown, uh, I mean, we talked about the Arizona Cardinals. It's just a very bad football team on both sides of the ball. Specifically on the on the the you know the offensive side of the ball, no Kyler Murray. We don't know when he's going to come back. We don't even know who their quarterback is going to be since uh, Colt McCoy, they cut him a couple of weeks ago. Is it going to be Clayton Toon? Who knows? Just the quarterback concerns. You just don't know who's going to be throwing – to him. I mean, Marquise Brown is going to be the wide receiver one. Going up against the commander's defense, I think that a lot of people overshadowed this defense. Uh, they have some talent. You know, we talk about Chase Young and their defensive front, but they also have some talent in the secondary. So I just don't think that this is going to be a very pretty game. I think this is going to be a very sloppy defensive battle. Uh, you know, Arizona's defense is really, really bad. So I just don't think that there's going to be a lot of touchdowns. For Marquise Brown, so we're probably going to see Marquise Brown a lot in the sits of the week. So those are my top three starts in sit 